What's going on, VC Vinyl Community? Hello, back for seeking for seeking a thread. A new episode. I've been talking about. I've been doing sort of a kraut rock series, but I wanted to take a break before I go to part two of that and talk about Canadian psych. And uh, one of my favorite sort of sections in the psychedelic canon is the country of Canada and the weird stuff that they've made in the 60s and 70s. And again, this is all sort of part of my radio show or songs or, or uh, episodes I've done during the radio show, uh, Searching for a Thread on WRFI Community Radio which the links are below in the comments you'll see them I've done Canadian episodes I've even done a Canadian mixtape which I'm working on finishing uh, that I usually hand out to all of my donors every year you can check more more about that out via the searching for a thread um, Mixcloud or Facebook but in any case let's show some psych records I'm doing this like a gimme 10 so yeah this is like gimme 10 10 of my favorite psych records. Now a lot of these are not original, so a few are, because it's tough to source some of these records. So I'll go through my favorites and then I have some honorable mentions even. Uh, thank you for watching. First one, Mother Tucker's Yellow Duck on the green capital label. I know Psychedelic likes these these capital labels, as he called it the Pete Green. More of a lime green, but in any case, it is a cool label. And this is a great sort of country rock rule psych I'm always looking for. Now this is technically a reissue. It's from 69, but the first version is on their own imprint, Duck Records. And this one has become pretty tough to get now, but it's grade A. Grade A Canadian country rock and psych. And good songs. That's what it's usually about with some of these kinds of things. It can't just have that period production and you know great uh, psychedelia that we love but the song's got to be good and Mother Tucker's Yellow Duck, one of them. Here's one more in the hard rock vein. It's Ellison out of Montreal. Very obscure group. Incredibly tough original. This is a Gerson reissue. And it says file next to Elias Hulk which I do. That's a great album I like. Um, but that is English. In any case, uh, hard rock album with some sort of dark sort of uh, sounds and definitely has a psych slant for sure. Strawberry Rain is the one that I got into based off of this compilation called Forge Your Own Chains that was on the Now Again label. And that had some weird, a bunch of different international sounds as the insert. But this is great. Very mysterious. Good way to put this. And... Uh, out of Montreal, which you don't hear about too many bands doing doing the psych from Montreal. Just put that there, I'm not going to put it away. Here's one that's sort of maybe straight in the psych pocket, a, fa a passing fancy. This is a Lion Productions reissue, um, originally on the Boo label. So that's a reproduction of this, of that. And I like, to, I like to call it, this is like right in that pop psych flowery uh, pocket. And I don't know where they were from. Maybe it says here on the hype sticker. Uh, just says Canada, which is the idea here. Well, this is one of 500 on the Gerson label. I think you can still get these. I'm sorry, not on the Gerson label, on the Lion Productions label. This is great. On the Boo label. Cool. I'd like to see. I know. Who showed this? Dots and Loops showed an original of this, I think it was. Or. Maybe it was Hog's Ear. I've been, watch I've been watching these VC videos, so I've, you know, I'm getting involved now. What else we got? Okay, here's one you may or may not know. This is the Bras, the Brothers. It's a reissue on the Void label. And this is like folk psych, acid folk. It looks pretty, you know, as some of these sleeves can be deceptive. This one looks like it would be sort of cheap bargain bin private stuff, which it is. But this one is really interesting. Great synthesizer in this. That first song, Walking on the Sun, is so cool. Very cool. That's on my mixtape, actually. And I believe one of the members, they only showed two on the cover, but there's a whole group back there. One of the members, I believe, was from uh, Sweden, I want to say, Scandinavia. Um, but this has got a really cool vibe, sort of rustic, rootsy, kind of that rural vibe again. The old Void label with these 
they all, every label looks the same. But Void, you know, usually they sound pretty good, and they've done some great, some great records. A lot, a lot of the Canadian stuff that got reissued is on Void. Highly recommend Bras the Brothers. There's like an orange reissue and a and this black one, which I think are somewhat reasonable. Check it out. Originals. No. This is one of my favorite just folk albums. This is pretty straight folk. This is Frazier and DeBolt. Shout out to my father-in-law, Toby, who was a fan of these guys, and I think has seen them back in the day. Uh, this is merely a straight folk album, but it's sort of strange. It's got a weird vibe to it. Great arrangements and some great uh, harmonies and things. This is the original Canadian pressing on the 360 sound labels, the 2i. The US versions are on the straight 70s uh, orange uh, Columbia label. Uh, but like I said, this is kind of psychedelic in its um, feel. Less about studio trickery going on and things like that. Uh, beautiful, though. Great late night album, I would say. Love Frasier and DeVault. Don't bother with their second album. That's a, that's a letdown. Here's one of my all time favorites. This is Christmas album's heritage. Ooh, I love this. This is a great hard rock album. This is an original on the Daffodil label, Canadian label, that did have some things. Their, their third album is also on Daffodil. That's called A Little Bit of Christmas, I think it is. Or a, a, a Night of Christmas, I think it is. I've never heard that, although I've heard pieces and it gets proggy. This one is hard rock, but with uh, you know those fuzzy leads and songs are amazing. Going to California or going to Oklahoma. The third track, incredible. Rise up is incredible. You got the 13 minute Zephyr song on this. Beautiful album. I have the insert on this. This is a pretty tough one to get nowadays. I love this one. This was one I play a lot, and it's my favorite. <laughs> I do have the first album here, which I'll show, which is much, much rare. This is like a four-figure album if you can find it. This is an unofficial pressing. This is good. It's kind of a little bit more mysterious and um, almost more folky and cosmic. Very cool. Very cool stuff going on um, on this. The cover is always really ridiculous, but this is good. But to me, when it comes to Christmas, you need to be checking out Heritage. That's Christmas. This is the Perth County Conspiracy Does Not Exist. A Canadian pressing of a Canadian band, of course, on Columbia. There is an earlier pressing on that 360 sound with, I think, booklet? This is great. Um, more in the folk vein. The duo, there's, there's a few records that they've done, and I have them. This is the best. And this has like spoken word elements and sort of uh, like film cut-ups in it and stuff. It gets dark and strange and moody, and it looks sort of like commune rock, but it's not really that. It's sort of a a moody folk album with psychedelic overtones, I guess is what you'd call it. Um, recommend it, and the best thing that the Perth County Conspiracy has done. And this one, you you should be able to get relatively inexpensively. This is a uh, yeah, like I said, the second Canadian. Here's an all-timer. The New Creation, Troubled. This is Christian stuff uh, in the Shags vein. It's 
shambolic gags. It's super, super trippy uh, production. It's a blank back. And just insanity. Insanity. The first track is like uh, an apocalyptic um, fallout. <laughs> it's sort of introduces the song in the um, in a hell of a way. Now this is reissue. This is a Vancouver band, which is like, again we're talking near four figures on originals of these. But this is done by the Companion label, which I'd love to do a whole video about. They've done a lot of private issue, oddball uh, releases, psych, um, lounge, uh, hard rock, so, sort of a little bit of everything. But everything's their attention to detail and everything's great. This is a beautiful sleeve, the Companion label. This one, like I said, if you like the shags, this is the shags, like even more Christian with uh, a wholly psychedelic production. You need to check this out. And again, I think you, these reissues for some reason are still out there. I think they had been. I have everything on the companion label that they've reissued. Fantastic. The new creation. I, this may be one of the winners of the whole bunch. Um, every track, just totally an enjoyment. What kind of a, one of these kind of records that blows your minds and makes you smile at the same time? Love it. Here's one of the garage vein, the haunted, pretty much straight garage with their hit signature song, not a hit, but one, two, five. This is great. This is a reissue on the Trans World. Oh, it was originally on Trans World, but this is Hungry for Vinyl. I believe I had to get this in Canada. A lot of these I had to get in Canada. Not a lot of US sellers with these records. This is great. Good garage punk is the best way I can really put this. Stays in that pocket with some psych and it's great one of the great Canadian garage records uh, out there The Haunted what else we got here almost near the end of my my gimme 10 here's one of my all time favorite records and bands maybe the best of the batch next one maybe even better we'll see this is Simply Saucer now I have two copies this is an in the red reissue with additional material because well, I'll just tell you, this is from four years ago. And this is the first edition of Cyborgs Revisited on Mole Sound from 1989. Now, these recordings are originally from 74. And they got shelved. Daniel Lanois' brother was the producer behind these. And the band was led by Edgar Bro and with a revolving cast of musicians. And this combines psych, sort of Stooges-esque proto-punk. And it's like, yeah... Uh, psychedelic great songs catchy the jangly at times so this didn't come out officially until 1989 even though the recordings are from 74 now I do have their single that was the only thing they released back in the day called she's a dog I have that over there in my 45 section but um, they're out of Hamilton Hamilton Ontario and it's just one of my all-time favorites I have some other archival releases by them Fantastic, but Cyborgs Revisited is killer. I think the In the Red reissue is pretty readily available. The recordings themselves, they have a their studio quality, but much, but you know, cruder and sort of. Um, it's a punkish, more of a punkish vibe on this, but definitely psychedelia with synthesizers going on. It's beautiful. Speaking of crude and amazing, maybe the all-time best Canadian psych record out there. Ben Wynn, Sussex. You need this in your collection, whether you like Canadian or Psych or what have you. This is the Del Val reissue, and it's been reissued a few times. I think there's a current one in print. And yeah, this has got a lo-fi thing happening that the, one, the other ones don't seem to quite have, but it is fried stuff. Fried, burnt material. And uh, the whole thing, my favorite song is... 
uh, I believe it's Riverside, yeah. Which reminds me of another album I need, Canadian, Riverson. I think it's on Columbia. Columbia and Canada did some great stuff. I, I don't have all of them. I have reissues of most of them. But Bentwind, out of all of these, I mean, this, this is certainly a contender for the best, in my opinion. Some other honorable mentions I'll go through these quick I know a lot of people would think plastic cloud for me this is not as high as everything else it's just, this is like a fuzz album through and through fuzz 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 every song so sort of everything sort of sounds the same um, but this is certainly good uh, this is like an allied reissue this is another major rarity there's another void reissue borealis sons of the sea and this one's really good but the vocalist it sometimes bugs me on this one uh, but worth your time if you are uh, looking at the void section of wherever you browse on Discogs or whatever The Collectors, good band, solid this is my favorite of the records this is uh, the original green label my sleeve is a little beat but the record's good this is solid good good listen um, trying to think of who this it's, it's sort of in the prog territory vibe uh, vocalist again, sort of maybe the issue here, but a solid listen. It's all me. This is sort of in the hard rock vein. Now, this is another Void reissue. I think this has the seven inch. Yes, this has the seven inch with it. And the seven inch, I think, is my favorite thing on this. This was another Columbia release. If you can find that, that's that's an insane record. But this is good, pretty good. Here's another one that reminds me of pretty good Rain Ghost. Like this album, reminds me of the band on Dot. Fear Itself, in their first uh, record. Very good. Um, maybe not cracked up all that it's cracked up to be. A lot of organ in there, which I always dig. Worth your time if you can find the reissue on, uh, who is this, Outsider? Yep, Outsider. And last, The Paupers. I have both their records. This is the uh, Magic Peoples, my favorite of the two. Uh, Mono on Ver Forecast. This one's good too, although this one, I have to listen to it again, it may not stick around. But this one's got some great songs, and this is a cheap record, $10 record, if you can find that. So that's my Canadian stuff for the for you guys out there, the VC. Um, yeah, looking forward to spinning some of these. Maybe another radio show is coming up in Canada, but you can search my archives that I've linked below, and you can find the Canadian episodes I've done. And that's about it. Um, I'll also throw a little shout out to my other YouTube channel with my son Silas. We've done 53 episodes on all the Neil Young albums, and we just started a second series. Yes. Studying the Velvet, or recording episodes on the Velvet Underground. Yeah, we, Velvet we, Underground. We're doing this one right now. White Light, White Heat. White, white, white Light, White Heat. We're going to do, record that episode. Yeah, so. Uh, for the Velvet Underground series, episode 56 or something. So you can check out the first episode of the Velvet Underground or look at any of the Neil Young episodes. Quarantine Hearts. Quarantine Hearts, yep. yeah. we started that this summer because we've been quarantining. All right, that's it. Um, thanks for watching, VC. Hope you enjoyed the Canadian series or episode here. And look out for part two of the Krautrock.